After over two weeks of the largest higher education strike in U.S. history, postdoctoral employees and academic researchers at the University of California have reached a tentative agreement with the UC system. The agreement will lead to significant wage increases, one of the key demands of the striking workers. It impacts around 12,000 of the 48,000 workers who have been on strike since November 14. However, these university employees will continue the strike action in solidarity with the 36,000 student graduate employees whose demands are yet to be met. We engage in so much of the core work that ensures that the University of California can run day to day, and yet we don't make enough to even cover rent or other basic necessities. And so our demands are really, really crucial to ensure that academic workers at the University of California can actually afford to live where they work. The tentative agreement includes provisions for increased paid family leave, childcare subsidies, better job security, transportation benefits, and protection from harassment and changes in immigration laws. University of California employees hope this deal will set a new standard across the country. Academic workers at the university have been organizing with the union, United Auto Workers, to lead the strike. They have been picketing at all 10 University of California campuses across the state. Workers voted to go on this strike after months-long collective bargaining with the UC system. The central demands include fair compensation, support for working parents, environmentally sustainable commuting, job security, disability justice, and international academic worker rights. A crucial reason behind demanding wage hikes was ending rent burdening of the workers, which happens when workers are forced to use 30% or more of their income for paying rent. The union found that 92% of graduate workers and 61% of postdoc students are rent burdened and 40% of graduate workers spend over half their income on rent. The union hopes that childcare rights will reduce the number of primary caregivers, most of whom are women, from being pushed out of academia. Track positions at U.S. universities have shrunk over the past decades, especially for the humanities. This leaves many student workers in adjunct positions with far less job security for far less pay. But student workers are fighting against this tide of precarity. Graduate students across the country at some of the top universities in the nation have led strikes and unionization efforts, including Columbia and MIT graduate student workers in only the past two years. By organizing, workers have shifted the popular perception that the working class exists only in fields that don't require a college degree and that more educated workers have no need to organize along class lines. While only 10.3% of US workers are unionized, unions have become increasingly popular with the highest favorability since 1965 at 70%. The striking workers at UC have stated that now it is time for the university to make serious proposals to graduate student workers and to reach fair agreements that recognize their contributions.